Good day, good people. Welcome, everybody. It's Rusty Money here on PlayStation Network and Rusty Money Gaming on YouTube. We are here on Maypole Farm by Cavalier Roy for Farming Simulator 22 on PlayStation 4. So we are here to bring you uh, just a short little video on what the slot count is for starting a new farmer mode here on PlayStation 4 or console and also to bring you a video about shutoffs on the map here. So Cavalier Roy, who is the creator of this map, was in my first look live on this map and was there for pretty much the entire first look live. So he uh, gave us some tidbits and also helped us through the first look live. So thank you to Cavalier Roy for being a part of the first look live here on your map you brought to console. So I appreciate that, my friend. But to further this video, these are spotlights, is what Cavalier Roy called them in the first look live. And so these spotlights are shutoff triggers on the map, and whatever they are aiming at is what they will shut off. Uh, for most of them anyway. So we are in new farmer mode. We are up here on the starting farm where all the equipment is. Uh, up here by field 85 and 86 and 90. So we do own this ground. As you can see, if you walk up to this, it says that that is a spruce and it's 2.5 meters long and weighs one ton. So let's go ahead and buy ourselves a chainsaw. And before I buy this chainsaw, you can see your slot count here on consoles 1,390 of 2,600. But you do have a lot of equipment, and you can sell that equipment, and it will drop quite a bit. You also could buy all the farms, sell all the farm buildings, and probably drop that a little bit more. Uh, but yeah there's opportunities on this map because there is seven farms and one of those seven is an arable farm so let's buy this chainsaw so now we own that chainsaw so let's cut this here and now as you see those decorations are gone now, if we go over here by this cow pen, in the corner over here is another one of these spotlights, and they're hiding. Well, they are, it is shining at this stone wall, which is part of this pasture. So, if we cut that, it's going to get rid of this stone wall. All right. Now, these gates that are on the map, if you go into build mode and select those gates, they will delete. So if we go into build mode, There, as you can see, we're highlighted on the gate, so if we click Demolish, then the gate demolishes. Now, let's just try a gate on a piece of land that we don't own and see if it sells. So, um, let's see. Okay, so we're up here at another one of these farms up here by field 55. So if we click on that gate, we can delete the gates on the land you do not own. So you can get rid of your gates without owning the land. All right, so now let's get out of this build mode and we'll go back to the farm. All right, so now we're back here at the farm, everybody, and you have these hedges, and these hedges have stumps, or what I would also call fence posts in these hedges. So if we get our chainsaw out 
And we do own this land. If we cut that stump or fence post, part of that hedge will disappear. Now if we go to the next one, then you can make that even bigger and delete out that part of the hedge. Now, we're going to jump to somewhere else and show you something about these hedges. Alright, now, once again everybody, we are in new farmer mode. And we have leased ourselves a tractor and a mulcher. And, well, down here at the store, everybody, is another one of these spotlights back here. Okay, well, I will show you why I bought that, or at least that mulcher. But, if you see the stone wall out here around this store point area, and the stone walls also are part of the sides of some of the areas of the roadways. So, if we go over here to this spotlight, and if we break out our chainsaw, you will see that we don't own this ground. Okay, we don't have access to it. This little piece of ground where this spotlight is is $250, we'll show you that. So here we are in the PDA and we're down here by the store point here by above field 122. And if we click on the area right there, there's a very tiny little square worth $250. If you buy that, then you own that land where that spotlight is. But we're not going to buy that land. I'm going to use this mulcher. So as you saw with the chainsaw, it says we don't have access. Well, you do if you use a mulcher you can still get rid of that and it shuts off that wall as you can see there's no wall here so we can drive right through here now we also don't own this land here by this field which is 128 I believe yep this would be 128 so if we turn on our mulcher and we don't own this land you can also cut down these hedges without owning the land but you can only do that if you use a mulcher okay and then these posts don't have collisions so you can drive right on down through your hedge and not have to go around the posts <laughs> if you wanted to do it that way but there you go. You don't have to own the land to shut off the hedges on the map. Now, everybody, this map is amazing. It's uh, a good map creation for multiplayer mode as it's got seven farms. And one of the seven farms is an arable farm. And also, there's free water on the map down at the pond at the southern part of the map. But this video was just to show you what the slot count was starting here on console and about the shutoffs here on the map also. So if you liked what you saw, please drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery and by you all people's delicious donut. And please leave us a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to share a box of donuts with your friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams. But from myself, Rusty Money, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.